everyone. Uh, we are starting a new episode uh, of our series uh, to be prepared to COP27. Uh, and here today we have uh, Carolina Duvalli. Carolina is a regulatory legal manager at Braskin. Uh, I'm a partner at Trenche Rossi Watanabe. I'm the head of the sustainability, uh, environmental and uh, climate change practice in Brazil. Carol, thank you so much for joining us. It is a huge pleasure to have you here. And I'll just, I'll go straight ahead to the first question. Um, we know that uh, for, for the, the companies and the private sector, everywhere in the world, but especially in Brazil, uh, since we are a key player at the carbon market, there are huge expectations on um, how the the how COP will result, um, and and the companies have been preparing themselves for for this moment. One of the discussions is related to the carbon market, um, especially also in Brazil, where we have several uh, discussions around the regulated market, how it will interact with the voluntary one. So uh, how does Braskin um, seize the carbon market um, and how it influences the day by day of the, the company today? Renata, firstly, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for the invitation. And about your question, tackling the climate change will require coordinated, fast and science-based solutions actions actually uh, and those actions uh, must be supported by public and institutional policies that together will contribute to minimize negative climate effects on the society and to the environment so braskin sees the carbon markets as a, a fundamental piece of the solution Okay, and our global sustainability development strategy, which is aligned with uh, Paris Climate Change Agreement and with uh, also the UN Sus Sustainable Development Goals, was approved in 2020 by Braskin's Board of Directors. And mm -hmm. our ambition is to be among the global petrochemical leaders in reduction of greenhouse emissions and a key player in carbon capture through the produ production of materials with renewable and also bio-based raw materials. By 2030, we seek to reduce the scope one and the scope two, uh, the GSG emissions by 50% by 50 from the baseline of 10.8 million in 2019. And by 2050, we aim to achieve the carbon neutrality. And in terms of reducing emissions, we are working on expanding the use of renewable energy in our operations while constantly improving our energy efficiency. As a result, in the past 13 years, uh, we have reduced the intensity of our GAG emissions by around 17%. And our, our emissions compensation strategy is tied to the use of renewable raw materials, as I said, as part of our portfolio. However, we understand that Brazil needs to establish a compliance market for the emissions trading, otherwise the private sector might be negatively harmed. So we are already seeing conversations about the carbon, uh, carbon border adjustments in Europe, in the United States as well. So we need our Congress to move, to move fast in this, in this direction. And the Bra Braskin supports the carbon trade system, okay, accompanied by the measure report and verification, the MRV. Uh, the multiple uh, the multiple step process to measure the amount of the GAG emissions reduced and this would enable economic efficiency in carbon pricing in price consistency and a better scenario for decarbonization strategy in Brazil's different uh, sectors fantastic Carol it's it's um, it's really interesting to see how Braskin, uh, a key player in this market, also because of the importance of your your activities and how you contribute to society, um, to be so, I mean, Braskin being so transparent 
and to to be so committed committed with uh, with this agenda. So it is it is really amazing yeah. to see that. Yes, and we are really engaged in this agenda. Yes, yeah, I agree. It's yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And how you go public? So it is uh, it is also a way to to be a leader so that others can can follow your steps. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And Carol, tell us also how important is the legal department in this journey? I think the legal department is crucial, is very, is very important. So our legal department and the sustainability teams work together, so side by side when it comes to, to this climate agenda. And Braskin believes that our legal team can unlock and help to improve the solutions to fight against the climate change. We need our team to understand the challenges and think together in strategies so we value the involvement of our in-house councils and the thought that the in-house council should work with on, only with MA contracts and litigation is totally outdated so the best legal council is the, the one that knows the business, understands the client's needs, and proactively add values to the discussions, aim to reaching a solution. So, to reach a solution, this is important today. And the carbon, the carbon markets, for in, instance, I, I believe that they are a good example. So, the technical experts may come up with an incredible alternative to, to trade emissions that, in the end, may, may be absolutely in vain if we don't involve, if we don't, we don't have the legal perspective analysis. For a compliance market to be valid and effective in Brazil, for example, it should be established by law rather than by a decree. An ordinary law would be discussed with society and approved by our Congress, bringing greater, greater legal certainty and legitimacy to the process. So the climate agenda necessarily involves the legal team and the Braskin values our opinion very much. And the legal department, just to conclude, can also contribute to overcoming any regulatory obstacles to the adoption of new low carbon technologies, either through the proper interpretation of our current framework or even uh, in, in, in the discussion of a normative updates with the competent authorities when, is, when it is necessary. Fantastic, very interesting, Carol. Uh, and it's also really nice to see how you are personally engaged in this agenda and how you act as a really business partner uh, with the sustainability, the technical, the business team. So this is uh, also an example for sure to be followed. And, and to fi finalize, what are Braskin's uh, expectations regarding COP? So we see the COP27 as a turning point. This is the opportunity the world has to be together to fight the climate change. And this will require collaborative approaches, political will as well. Uh, but Braskin believes that if we act together, we can achieve impactful results. Okay, so COP27, uh, we think that it is the first step for countries to move forward towards their own commitments in connection with, a Paris, uh, with a Paris Agreement goals. Hence, some countries should review its NDC and to enhance uh, the implementation of uh, the Convention. And finally, uh, it is crucial that we see signif significant progress on on the climate financial issues as well okay mm -hmm. we need to unlock this agenda to have a fully uh, to have a fully operation system great carol thank you so much uh you brought so many valuable important information um i hope we can exchange more ideas uh, often thank you so much and i also would like to to thank our audience and and see you all in the next episode Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Once again, thank you for this opportunity. See ya. Bye-bye.